Hi there, I'm Dara McDermott and you're watching Dukoscopy TV for an economic update on Japan with Fleming Nielsen from Danske Bank. Fleming, last time we spoke in September, the tone of the Bank of Japan's statements were the strongest since 2008. Now, this was due to strong data. Now, the disappointing GDP data today actually questions if Abenomics will be able to maintain the country's economic recovery. So what are your views on the data we saw and you think growth will be derailed by an increase in sales tax in April? The first question is that so far I still believe that the recovery, if you look at the, the current quarter and the first quarter of the next year, will be relatively strong in uh, Japan. Uh, particularly corporate investments uh, disappointed um, in, in the third quarter. However, all indicators suggest that uh, we have a broad recovery in, uh, in uh, investments, not just corporate, but also housing investments and public investments. So I think that uh, investment deval uh, demand uh, will rebound uh, markedly uh, in uh, the current quarter. So um, from growth of, of around uh, just 1% annualized in the third quarter, I think uh, growth will rebound markedly to uh, more than 3% uh, again in, uh, in, in the fourth quarter. So um, I'm not particularly concerned about the relatively weak third quarter. I don't think that Bank of Japan is either, so we are unlikely to see any uh, response on the back of this number. As you said, a bigger concern is um, the sales tax increase that we are going to see in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in April. I think it's unavoidable that there will be a contraction in, uh, in uh, GDP uh, in, in uh, the second quarter on the back of the increase in sales tax. What is uncertain is to what degree the Japanese economy will be, be able to recover uh, in the second half of um, next year. In my view, it will be necessary uh, with some additional easing uh, from Bank of Japan at some stage in the, the second quarter of, of next year as the economy slows. However, uh, the downward vision of um, the third quarter is no, not going to be a major concern for Bank of Japan. And looking at market reactions, the euro was close to a five-year high against the yen. Can you tell us more about how the markets are responding to today's data? Basically, we have been uh, for some time uh, very bearish on, on, on the yen, uh, on the Japanese yen, as we think that uh, monetary policy will have to stay extremely accommodative uh, in, in Japan, not just uh, next year, but also into 2015. In the U.S., we will now soon start uh, tapering. If you look at the, the last ECB meeting, uh, uh, we must also say that uh, Draghi was uh, surprisingly uh, uh, hawkish, which is uh, also one of the reasons why we have seen the Japanese uh, yen weaken against um, uh, the euro and uh, reaching new record high. So I think that's a trend that will continue, uh, particularly if, if, if uh, I'm right that at some stage in the second quarter, Jap uh, Japan will probably be forced to uh, expand it mon its monetary easing uh, even further when other central banks will be like the Fed tapering or ECB, even though it is possible that there could co uh, be additional easing from uh, ECB, we still think it's unlikely to be on a similar scales at, uh, as what Japan is, is, is doing at the moment. Now, the country has pulled itself out of deflation, but will miss its target of 2%. What are your forecasts for inflation for next year? I think that inflation in Japan will uh, continue to increase. However, the pace will uh, start to slow here in, uh, in, in, in the, the, the coming months. Of course, there will be an impact from uh, the sales tax uh, it will actually push uh, the headline inflation markedly at, at, at about 2%, probably close to 3%. But we should remember that uh, Japan, when it looks at its 2% inflation target, it's disregard, it's, it adjusts for the impact from, from the sales tax. So if uh, we exclude the impact from the sales tax, I still think that next year uh, we will uh, still see uh, uh, inflation probably not much above uh, uh, 1% uh, 
uh, for 2014 as a whole. So that's still not close enough uh, to the 2% inflation target for Bank of Japan. And that is the reason why I do expect uh, that Bank of Japan at some stage next year will be forced to expand its uh, monetary easing further. Fleming, thank you very much as always. It was a real pleasure. Well, viewers, do stay tuned as we have plenty more coming up. See you soon.